All right. What's up, guys? Sweet. I hope you're doing okay. I I am tired, but thank you, thank you for checking up on me. All right. Time for part three of this. Uh, I've been meaning to play this. Uh, I really been wanting to play this. Uh, the since the last. Since the last uh, stream, but I've just been flat out busy, and I've just had this game on my mind the whole time. So, without further ado, let's continue. Uh, where did we leave off? We went to Jericho. Uh, I think the last thing we did was as Marcus. We went to Jericho. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I've been watching a lot of uh, a lot of playthroughs of this as well. Uh, just watching where I've gone up to, so just in case I, because I don't want to spoil myself on on uh, what happens in the game. Ah, yes, that's right. We went to get some chicken. Some Kentucky Fried, not quite. Can I? Get chicken. Plastic with you. I want chicken. Open this door. Hey, hey. How you doing, <clears throat> hey, listen, I got a shit on tip. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. What that should say is bond with Lieutenant Anderson over chicken. Number five on the third. Lickety split. Lickety split. One hell of a chaser. Do androids eat? I don't want to eat. Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Face scan? Yeah. Oh, wait. Face scan. Illegal gambling fraud. Pedro Abda. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, Anderson. Anderson, are you a dirty cop? I'm gonna read him the right act. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Uh. Let's go over the facts, Anderson. Mr. Anderson. I thought now might be a good time to review what we know about deviants. No, now is not a good time to review anything. Now is my lunch break. So just go into standby and cut me some slack, okay? Go into standby. <laughs> oh, the hockey's on again. There you go. Uh Can I face scan the... Oh, I can. <coughs> Kays, Ga uh, bleh, Gary Kays, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Is that for him or for his food? Ah, uh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Oh, how? Uh, I had something else. Oh no! Oh no! I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Ah, uh, I forgot to scan something. Wait. Reconcile. No. Oh God dang it. Can I get chicken, please? It's always the hockey that's on. Oh, he's looking at me. Come on. Come on, I'm hungry. Missing cat. Oh. A 17 month old cat spotted from the something something Detroit way. You just can't resist our food prepared by our human. Our chickens were born with two legs and two wings only. Our sauces are homemade. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for this to get to serve me. Oh, someone's talking me. Oh, can I actually walk it in? Oh, come on. You can't. You can't just have a chicken shack like this with an open door teasing me. And you can't walk inside. Oh, okay. Alright, where's Anderson? 
Oh, that burger looks good. Gambling company, have it. Enjoy your meal. Yeah, he's gambling. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Free meal? You didn't Wait. pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. Oh yeah, he didn't even I pay scratch for his it. back, he scratches mine. Okay. Uh... Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? Yeah, yeah that'd be right. racist. Oh. Do go on, Hank Anderson. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. What a sad guy! Oh, I lost something. Ah, oh, is that that thing I didn't scan in time? Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Like murder. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Ah, uh, yeah. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. Because that's not the same Connor, but he has the same. To save her. They. Tra they remember they said they transfer right? the memories over to the next you know model. Everything there is to know about me. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Now look at you. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in dogs. Mm. So what's your conclusion? Sincere psychological cold. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Oh, it's going on. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. But he's eating lunch. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Can I just drive off and leave him there? In the rain with his shake? <laughs> hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. <laughs> well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <coughs> Awkward. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just... Just scanning. That a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises it's coming, coming from, from this scanning This floor. floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but Wait, the neighbor there? said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh. oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Don't you wish, wish you could, I do, could that? do that? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh. You hate us, but secretly you want to be us. Make your fucking miserable life easier. Alright, can I... Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. Knock, knock. Kick in the door. Kick in the door. 
I Anybody can... home? With a bit of force. <laughs> he's like, Open this... up, Detroit police! He's like, that's not how you do it. Stay behind me. Got it. I'm a coming. Hey, we're in the fucking Dharma Initiative's house. Uh, oh, a magazine. Not really the time to read, but I'm sure Anderson won't mind. Red isoplumic. The latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute. UN wants of World War Three. My thing is not working. Oh, how yeah, it's the touchpad. Red ice epidemic. The latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as red ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. So sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids as CyberLife's androids spread across the country. They will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dead. So, hang on. The synthetic stimulant already has red eyes. Analysts, analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production. Okay. So we know these androids are uh, not just in Detroit, they're everywhere. Because uh, maybe we saw um, there was things going on in Los Angeles, but Detroit is the, like it says, the epicenter of where they make the the androids. Suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids. Uh, just across the country they'll bring red ice. Though. So it's not just like... This red ice drug is not just like a drug people are taking just for kicks. It's something that there's something to do with this drug and androids regarding um, like all the people that are using the drugs, uh, people that are losing their jobs, or people that just hate androids and something like that. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Therium. The main ingredients in Android Blue Blood is among the active agents in Red Ice. Oh, and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narcotic Prevention NAN say the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red Ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the blood is blue, the ice is red and the money is green. Oh. <clears throat> so blue blood or therium is a main ingredient in red ice. Interesting. Green earth past the tippy point. Earth's environment you have repair. Uh that, uh that's not really that important. That rub um, that red ice one was important though. That's not okay. Oh, thank you for waiting. What the fuck is this? Uh, it's called birds. And Whoa. Jesus, this place stinks. It's called birds, and apparently there's a lot of them. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. UFO? Ah, oh, UFD. Urban farms of Detroit. Fields in the heart of the city. Okay. Uh. Ah, that's what I'm just looked at. Clues to analyze. Oh, up here. Poster corner.
somebody's stash. A Bible? No. Browse. Found something? Hang on, I need to... Okay. Look at all the things I can look at. We'll start with this one. I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. There's fucking no. birds everywhere. Pigeons. Flying rats. That's what pigeons are. Flying rats. Look at them all. Holy shit. Get out of the way. Suspect cares for wild animals. Okay, hence all the birds. Uh, yeah. oh. Military jacket, second hand, initials RT. RT. Probably initials. Put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. He's not wrong. <coughs> RT? Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. <coughs> Fine. God damn it. Fine cause of loud noise confirmed suspect is deviant. What do we got? The fridge. Jesus, I hate these things! A whole lot of nothing. Suspect doesn't eat, so he's an android. Suspect doesn't eat, just like suspect doesn't take a bath, just like suspect doesn't go to the toilet. Uh, I'll look at that later. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Electronic books you can't Ooh. Blue blood. Oh. Smell what the paper. Missing. See the pages turning yellow. Oh, so we should get an ID off this. Oh no. Deactivated. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Uh -huh. Rag. Birds. Oh, that's the um. I can't believe it. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. Yeah, we saw that already. Rag. Where did we see that? That was in the uh, last episode. Uh, it was in the shower, wasn't it? I think it was in the shower where the uh, car. I think it was Carlos Ortiz got stabbed twenty-eight times. Rag. 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 Connection. Any idea what it means? RA9. Oh, RA9. Written 2,471 times. <laughs> it's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Yes. That's Why are they obsessed it. with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. I really hope. Obsessive compulsive writing. I really hope by the end of this game, um, the relationship between Connor and Anderson is like, like really strong. Like, cause coming into this game, Anderson was like such a cunt and he hates androids and yada yada yada. For and he's got his reasons, which hopefully we'll find out, and I'm sure we will find out. But I don't know. Hopefully he just. By the end of this episode, he can at least look at Connor and just realize, hey, you know, I've, I hate androids, blah, 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 but Connor's, Connor's good. You know, they're not all bad. Hopefully he comes around a little bit. Because I like Anderson. I mean, he's, he's obviously got his problems, but I don't know. I think deep down he's a, he's a good dude. Traces of avian fecal matter. Avian? I wonder what that is. Aviation. I need to 
find one more clue. One more clue. One more clue. I thought that something. I thought that was something on the side of the stool there, but I can't put my crosshair over it. This is. This is as far as I can move it. Yeah. Yeah, can I? I has oh here it is god open marker pen I don't even see that still wet used recently midnight mood black I love how <laughs> I love how Connor oh, oh he's, I'm sure it's not just Connor any Android but how they could just pinpoint everything that they look at uh, so they got the name of the color midnight mood uh, they just look at a wall with RA9 and just straight away. This has been written 2,471 times. So cool. Oh, shit! I was supposed to reconstruct. Nope. Uh, right here. Okay. Uh, so he was using that marker to write all of that shit. Suspect was here recently. So wait, he just stacked it on the stool. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then as he puts his arm out, break his fall. Ooh. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay, so we left it there, he stacked it, got up, ran out that way. Okay, so I think we have to go back in the living room. Analyze the bird cage. Skid marks, trail width. 19.6 inches, traces of galvanized steel. Metal hook recently broken, stainless steel. Fingerprint marks. Traces of avian fecal matter, no fingerprints. Ah, finger marks, no fingerprints. That was hanging up there. Okay, so he knocked that down when he... Yeah. So he ran in here after he fell off the stool. Ran, the idiot didn't... Oh, he didn't run into it, he just ran and pushed it with his arm. And then it fell off, suspect ran towards the entrance. Ah, oh, okay, so he heard us. Ah, oh, so he was only just here. Okay, that was probably why, that was why he ran off the stool. And that would have been that noise. Cool. So he heard us knocking on the door, he fell off the stool. That fell, heard us enter. And then where did you go? Suspect is still here. Get out of this. Awesome. Next. 
expose the suspect. God, I'm not gonna. Oh shit! God damn fucking pigeons! I'm not gonna die here, am I? For? Chase it! Oh, oh shit! Not paying attention. Oh god! Quick time events. Oh shit! I'm actually supposed to run this one. Oh no! You're under arrest, son of. Oh wait, easy but slow, fast but risky. Oh god! Uh, balance, safety first, fast but risky. Uh, balance. Oh, okay, balance. Oh god! Oh god, safe for the direct but crowded, safe for the detour. Okay, this way. Fuck jumping over that, run around it. No time. Woo! Oh shit! Where the fuck am I? No! Fast but risky. Alright, we're gonna go this way. It's risky, but it's fast. Oh no! Oh, I pushed the X! Oh, it's supposed to be a triangle! Oh shit. Oh, this is awesome. Connor's the man! Kill. Oh, keep your struggle. Oh my god. Hey, be careful, Get out of the way! Look god dang it. That was so pointless. <laughs> Get out of it! Oh my god, the fucking cornfields. Oh shit, Anderson! Chance of survival, 85%. Okay, he'll be alright. He had an 89% chance of survival. I'm gonna rely on those numbers. Oh shit. Please. I've done nothing wrong. Well, why are you running? I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. <laughs> it's like that. Model 87400 You're under arrest. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective. Will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Yes, Anderson made it. Don't you fucking move! You hey! bastard! You saw I was gonna fall, and you'd rather let me die. You had a ninety-nine percent. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? <laughs> a one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to piss them Perhaps off. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Oh, no, come on. Come here. Are you doing this? All oh, right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. All, All right. these androids are trying to come plead on. their case to me because I'm a fellow android. Like the guy in the attic, he was like, oh, don't, don't dob me in. Hey, what the fuck? Ah, oh, mother! Holy shit. Did he just kill himself? Fucking androids. And that was another thing. That was another reason why I didn't want to save him, because I had a feeling that... I had a feeling that if I saved him, uh, which meant the 
the perpetrator would have gotten away or got further away and then I had a feeling he was going to get pissed for losing him yeah he committed suicide oh man god damn it join Hank talk to Hank be with Frank uh, bleh, be with Hank and then, uh, oh yeah see I missed something there I wonder what that is. I unlock something there. Find diary. Yeah, I missed something in the apartment, which also led to that. Cool. So there was two outcomes for that. Oh, we're back in Jericho. Hey, that's the android. Who the android you? behind me. Fugitives. Just Wasn't like that you. the android that My came up Josh. to... I'm Simon. North. Kara? When I was looking for a hotel? And he just disappeared. Uh, refugee. I'm pretty sure understand. that was him. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. But I like my master. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. So maybe I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Uh, uh I am feeling a little lost. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. Who? She might be able to help you. Am I damaged? Settle in, find Lucy, explore Jared. Okay, can I face scan androids? I can't. Are you... What the hell happened to you? I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. Oh, she's gonna give me the plague. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Okay, you can stop. Oh, wait, did she die? I mean, <coughs> I mean, it's not funny because she just died, but that was pretty funny. Okay, so I'm guessing Lucy is a female. Pretty sure this was the. Was it this one? Up top? No. Nah, I'm pretty sure it was this android that. Let me look at your face. 
I'm pretty sure this is the android that approached me when I was playing as Kara, looking for a hotel. He was saying, um, there's a place where you'll be safe, but it's, she said it's on the other side of town or something. And then he just disappeared. Oh, it might have been this guy. He was definitely wearing one of these green outfits. Oh god, are you another dying android? Not me very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. <sighs> See, these are like... I think it was in the last video when I was talking about I was referring androids to um, to pets how how they just the people just treat androids like garbage because they have no feelings but I was saying like if you had an android that was a part of your family for so long wouldn't you like connect with it and you know miss it and be upset if something were to happen to it like a pet especially with one that looks just like human like you know what I mean and so this one was saying his oh I don't think he said it was his owner but he said humans tied him to a back of a car and just took off just to have some fun it's just like you hear stories about animal abuse where you hear pe hear about people doing that sort of shit to animals and just pisses me off. Some people are just sick fucks. And these, and, well, this android here, he obviously feels something if he's talking about how he doesn't want to die. So they must have some sort of feeling. Because if they were just regular, just, just nuts and bolts, fucking run-of-the-mills androids that just have no feelings. They just go on with nothing. Like, they just have no soul or nothing. And all these androids that were fighting back because they were being abused by humans. They're obviously feeling something. Crate already emptied. <clears throat> they're feeling anger for being abused. Hence why they're fighting back. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, Miss Torres, Torres. work the math out. Okay, so there's something... <coughs> <coughs> I'm guessing that's Lucy who's throwing the ball because there's an icon above her head. Um, but there's something else that's padlocked that I can unlock. Let me just light all these. Okay. Is this another dying android? Was it a kid? Also, are there any? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? 
They won't. We're slowly dying out. This is your freedom. Freedom for androids. That answers my question. I was going to say, I wonder if there's any kid androids. Oh, but then also, that would have had to have definitely been a kid android, because uh, the other android, when I first got here, was saying Jericho was a place only androids could find. So that makes sense. Just walk past this dead woman. Didn't I light this one already? Are these going out and I just keep relighting them? Oh no. That's Lucy. There's something I can unlock, is it in here? Oh wait. Or are you Lucy? Are you Lucy? Please don't be Lucy. Don't be Lucy. I want to explore a little bit more. Oh, what the? Sit down. Oh, are you Lucy? Oh, no. I'm going to lose this padlock thing, aren't I? Show me. I'll show you my dick. A little bit damaged. Uh, not the fire poker. What are you doing? Don't you dare burn my wound. Oh, even though I don't feel pain. Look at that, Marcus. Drink this. I'll drink your blueberry juice. Chug, 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 chug. What's with her face? Oh, look, you can see where her brain should be. She Give me your hand. Doesn't have a brain, she's an android. Thumble? Thumble! Oh. What are you doing? Oh, creepy. You had it all. Yeah, I did and have you it all. And you lost it all. Yep, all from a little push. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. I miss my master! A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail. <coughs> Your choices will shape our destiny. Propose a plan to Simon. So this woman is like the bloody, that woman in the Matrix, um, oh god, it's on the tip of my tongue. The Architect? Oh, hang on, no, that wasn't the Architect, it was the old man that sat in front of all those TVs, wasn't it? Oh god, it's been so long. It's been so long! Where am I going? Oh yeah, Simon. Simon says stand still. Simon. Wake up, boy. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. Oh, Marcus, you are such a good did, android. Fight. We can steal what we need 
without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. See the blue arrows going up for people that are with you? Okay. If he, if he, uh... I'm in. Okay, except for him. Yeah, see, I missed something. I knew it too. Uh, talk to damaged android. Let there be light. Talk to Josh. Talk to dying android. Yeah, I knew I missed something. Cool. Are we back to car? Sweet. Where the hell are we now? Uh, so the last we saw okay? of Kara, we were evading the police. We'll get some help here. Soon this will all be just a bad memory. Because that just doesn't scream haunted at all. Haunted or abandoned? This is the place. Did it ever stop raining in the city? Wait, someone actually lives here? I thought we were just hiding in an abandoned house. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait! We really need your help. Come in. Who the hell is this? Don't be shy. Make yourself at home. Uh, find help while it's let go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You, you walk in there. I don't want to walk in there. I want to check out your awesome looking house. Look at an emu! Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, wait. I can look at this. Wow. Can I go this way? No, I cannot go that way. Okay. Zlatko. What kind of name is Zlatko? Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Thanks. Oh, don't be afraid of our Holy big friend. Holy shit, that guy's Luther big. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. That guy is an absolute unit. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? Oh, look at that painting! On the street, he said you could help us. That is creepy. Oh, wait, okay, so... He wasn't talking about Jericho, that android. Okay. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's a victim. She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes. Did I get a Canada? Open spaces. Clean, clean air. air. Snow. And no android laws. No android laws in Canada. Great place for a fresh start. Well, yes, that's... <clears throat> that's exactly what we want. 
Of course. But let's go. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. I don't like it. This is dodgy as hell. Also, I want another look at this painting because this is creepy as fuck. God, it looks like something out of The Shining. <coughs> oh, can I just stay in here? It's so nice and warm. Uh, oh, hang on. Would it kill you to do some dusting? Look at all the dust on this shit. Cobwebs. What else can I look at? I don't want to bother to like go just yet. Hey, instead of removing my tracker, can we sit down and read some books? There's a lot to choose from. I wish you could like lightly jog in this game so badly. Hey, why'd you let go of my hand? Is that a grave out there? And what do we have behind here? Also, I've been um, I've been checking out the uh, all the uh, press conferences and stuff from uh, the E3 the last week. So many good games I got my eyes on. Um, there are some that I've definitely be getting, definitely be getting Spider-Man. Uh, but it's funny because I've never, like, I've always liked Spider-Man, but I've never really been one to actually buy Spider-Man games. But I don't know, there's something about this one that just looks absolutely incredible. Um, so that one I'll definitely be getting. Uh, probably be uh, a lot of these games I want to start playing on the channel as well. Uh, of course, The Last of Us 2, which looks very gory, very gruesome. Um, Death Stranding, which is really weird looking at it. I might check it out, uh, mainly because I'm a big fan of uh, of uh, Norman Reedus and uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, and Resident Evil 2, the remake. My first experience into Resident Evil was uh, Resident Evil 4 Biohazard. I've never played any other Resident Evil before that. Uh, I don't know why, I got recommended it after I put over Resident Evil 4 and how much I loved it. But I just couldn't get into it, it's just... I I, th I think it was just the graphics, and I know graphics don't make a game good. I mean, it certainly helps, but I think for horror games it has to like look realistic, and for Resident Evil, the originals, I just couldn't get into it. So the remake of Resident Evil 2, uh, looks a lot realistic it looks really cool so I'll, I'll more than likely probably be getting that as well uh, okay I guess we're gonna do this crap this Android is gigantic oh god talk about creepy paintings This isn't gonna go well, is it? I got a bad feeling about this. I don't like this place. Yeah, neither do I. Neither do Let's I. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. No choice. Alice, we have nowhere else to go. We have to trust him. Please excuse the mess. This is so bad. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so. I opted for discretion over comfort. 
What are you looking at? I hope at? the little one isn't too scared. No. Reassure. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Oh. This way, please. Hang on, I wanna... If I go back this way, will this android stop me? Okay, I can't actually walk that way. Over here. If you could just stand over there. Answers Latko's machine. Oh, this is gonna suck. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Oh, what's going on here? You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. Ah, oh, go. So, here we go. Actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that. Yeah, but people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. No! Alice, no! Yeah, why did I listen to you, Alice? A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of the way. <coughs> Can I... Reset your percent Can I get out of this or am I just... I can't actually do anything. It's what you get for having a dream. Uh. It always ends up the same way. And I don't even want to look at you, you lying motherfucker. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. And Alice is going to be stuck living in a no fucking pain. stall like a I'm horse. Stashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <coughs> oh, what uh, you bit me. Can this child go one day without being abused by somebody? You some manners, you little bitch. Ah, oh, Wake up, Kara! And I made a promise I'd never leave her. Help me. You're an android. Meet me in the living room. Oh, he's gonna help me. Or not? Meet you? I don't even know where the living room will be after this fucking thing. Find a way to escape. Okay, how do I escape? What are we up to? 28%. Uh, uh, can I look at my wrist binds? Yeah! Blue cable. Why couldn't you just have done that before? Okay, I'm still being tongued by this machine thing. Da, 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 da. Green cable. Oh god. Yoink. Oh god, what did I just spill? Oh, is that some flammable bullshit? Oh, I 
if I get free, this guy is gonna pay. But I suppose Kara won't want me to kill. Oh god, I'm on! Oh shit. Oh, I was supposed to keep pushing it. No! Oh! Why did it? Wait, what? Okay. I thought I failed that. Serves that code. Where's Alice? Oh, wait. Alice! Can this, this camera is really annoying. Oh yeah, I unlocked this. Oh. Yes, I want to open this. I want to let this... Oh, there's a bunch of them. Here to help. This can be happening. No, don't you attack me. You have to remember. Help me remember. For her sake. He likes to play with us. Creating monsters. For his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. What the fuck? Why would that android on the street tell me to come to this place? If he was... You must remember who you are. If he was abusing androids. Otherwise the little one will die. And why is the big unit of an android helping him? Oh, I'm remembering. Man, oh god. Oh god. Did I unlock something? Nope. I want to go back in. Help me remember! Okay. <laughs> Kara's just freaking out. Okay. It's just the same thing over again. <coughs> I can't do anything else there. Another android in there. Ooh. That android looks like Jackie Chan. Why is he? Oh. looking in the mirror. Why did uh, Luther tell me to meet him in the living room? What's that guy going to be doing? Okay, I'm in the living room. Luther! Master's dinner's ready. How could you do this to me? To what? Yes, Luther. Ah, uh, no, am I just another android now like Luther to serve Zlatko? Oh, wait, I am. Because it says right there, that's right, it serves Zlatko. Oh, God. You must remember. So Zlatko must be upstairs. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, what a creepy looking house. I like how his dinner consists of a donut or a bagel, some potato chips, a couple of slices of bread, or set of cookies, or a pancake and some fruit. Just set it down on the table over there. Fuck, I'll set it in your face, you motherfucker. Okay, there's something else that's locked. No. Get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It's took off the word. Fucking whore walked out. Ah, uh, she's remembered. Did you hear what I said? Oh, yeah, because I served yes, food that time. Because that happened after I served food to Todd. That's why she's remembered it, because I just served food right there. Uh, bring the carcass next door. Is this thing still alive? Luther! Luther! Yes, Laco. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. You can't tear the little one apart, it's human. Oh my god. Oh, look at that android crawling on the ground. Oh, so she, oh, she doesn't even know who the little girl is. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta remember who the little girl is in 10 minutes time. Oh, no. Pipe, they remember for the red ice, the drugs, yes. Sweet, as soon as I saw that pipe, I knew she was going to remember uh, back to Todd. Her name's Car something. Is there anything else in here I want to look at? Oh, God. An android. What is that? Hold a bit. Oh! Open the cage. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. That could be useful for when the shit goes down. Okay. Uh. Oh god. We'll go in this room. Has the master authorized you to be here? None of your business. You uh, anything in here? Must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. Shut up! No business here. Shut up! No, you have. Can I get this for later? Oh, cuts. I remember Luther. I'm sorry. Oh. About the little one. You're not sorry. Okay, I need to remember. Nope. Nope. Up and around. Oh, I need to find more shit that helps me remember. Nah, I don't want to read this. Nah, I don't have time. Oh, it's me. Oh, wait, that helped me remember. Oh, good. Okay, good thing I did read this. Remembers her name. Alice. Oh, now she remembered Alice's name. 
Yes, okay. I don't need to I don't need to remember anymore. And I've got seven minutes I just need to find Alice and escape. <coughs> Where are you keeping the little girl? That, that was a big waste of time. Time we don't have. Oh, she could be anywhere in this bloody house. Oh. Or she could be right there. escape this place. Luther! Luther? Oh, shit. I guess I have to avoid Luther yes, as well. I'm finished here. Go face the little one. Oh, God. I don't know what. What? The little one is gone. Well, I can't have just disappeared. It's gotta be here somewhere. No! Get back in! Get what back are you in! For? No! Go look! Get back in! Oh my god! I let. I let go to look around. I don't like hiding in here at all. If I can't what see, the you can't. Are you doing? Come here. Coming. I don't know if it's safe to leave. Okay, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. I've got 45 seconds to get out of here. Oh god, this fucking bedroom. Can't I just go out the window? Oh god. Oh my god, I can't even get through that door. Oh wow. Android trying to give away my position. Oh god, I'm gonna run into them in the fucking hallway or something, I don't know. Oh, I just don't want Alice to die. <clears throat> Do I just go out the front door? Oh go! Oh, go! Shut the fuck up! 
I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. Oh, look, all right, not. Come on out, and everything will be all right. I'll help you. I know where you're hiding. Can you see the top of my over. head over the table? Oh, he's got I'm a shotgun. Make you regret this little charade. <laughs> oh, yes, the bear! I forgot all about that! Run! No! Not the android bear! Oh, Luther, don't do it, Luther! Run! Help us, Luther! Oh god, out the front door! Don't just stand there and do nothing! Front door! Front door's right there! Why don't you turn... Oh, okay. Okay, that's why we should have went to the back door. Oh. He just wanted a cuddle. Go! Yeah, take that. Yeah, <laughs> Luther just doesn't even want to run. He's just like, casually walking. Alice! Oh, Alice! Oh my god. Luther, help I us. I you. Help us, Luther. Dreams always end in tears. Come on, Luther. Do it. You should have listened to me. Do it, Luther. Do it, Luther. Help your fellow android. Yeah, what are that's you the doing? one. That's the one. Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Yeah, and what? How dare you. <laughs> And all the androids I released. Nice. What are you doing? Ah, uh, let Who them let go. You out? I let them out. Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! Yeah, rise of the androids, bitch. Oh my god, I thought I was dead there for sure. If that was a thing that could actually happen. Come with us. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. I know that. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. No, I like Luther. He's a big unit. Come with us. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Ah, <sighs> another android telling I someone else can there. help us. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. Yes, he's coming with us. And people say androids can't feel anything. She felt scared she was going to lose Alice. Oh my god, look at all the stuff. <coughs> Kara has been reset. Car is reset. Yeah. So, a uh, free monster. So, if you're not reset, you could do something up here, and then that leads you all the way. That just bypasses everything and takes you right to the. Uh, t oh, yeah, it leads you right to looking for her. So, you don't have to worry about any of this. Reclaiming your memory bullshit, which is what the chunk of this is. Bathroom android is loud. Oh, could I have shut it up? 
Oh, okay. Explore the house to recover the... Explore the house to recover memory. There's a bunch of stuff I could have done. And I wonder what this is. Recollect enough memories. That to that to this. Which leads to... Which leads to that. Search the house for Alice. There's a bunch of stuff down here, which leads to some stuff down here. And uh, Zlatko catches up. The monster pushes Zlatko. Oh, what am I doing back here? So, is this, I'm guessing, is this area here cyber life? Like, is this like the grounds of cyber life? Well, I gotta find Amanda again. This is where I was last time when I saw the, uh, the two tombstones for the uh, two previous Connors. So I'm, I'm currently on my third Connor. Hello, Amanda. Hi. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? Uh, I missed something. Signs the of walls me. of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. Could you not decipher it on the you spot? You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. I didn't let it. I made a mistake. It said RA9 saved me before it jumped from the roof. I should have anticipated what it would do. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? Well, it was going really good, and then Connor's death. He seems to find it difficult when a Connor is destroyed and replaced. Oh, no, I know me. humans have difficulty dealing with loss. Working with him will be a challenge if it happens again. Who's this Amanda woman? We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Hank is hostile. Oh, is this Hank's house? Let's look at his car. Can 
Can I drive? Uh, I'll peer through his window like a stalker. A crazy ex-girlfriend. Oh yeah, he's got a dog, that's right. Oh, that's so cute. Can I go around the back? I just want to keep exploring. I might find something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh God! Lieutenant Anderson. Don't break his window. No, don't. No. I suppose it's the other way. Now he's going to get mad at me for breaking his window. That's one way of getting it. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm your friend. Dog's name is Sumo. See? I know your name. Lick. I'm here to save your owner. Lick his face. Lick his face. Aww. Oh, what a cute dog. Ah, the return of the half square, half hexagon pizzas. Okay. You just chill out there, Hank. I want to check out your awesome... Oh, okay, okay. oh, can I pet the dog? Oh, sumo. Oh, he's a cute sumo. Okay. Great combination, Hank. Alcohol and a pistol. Get up, we got work to do, boy. Up! Get up! Oh, God. Go straight to the gun. Revolver. One bullet remaining. Black lamp, scotch whiskey. Traces of alcohol. A heart, slight, no signs of trouble. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Alright, get up. Lieutenant! Coma, wake up, slap him! <laughs> <laughs> wake up, Lieutenant! <laughs> Aren't you glad to see me? <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Sumo. Straight to the toilet. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> Straight to the toilet to throw up. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yep. You're a mess. Come on, you fucking alky. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. No, let go. Let go. I'm not what grumpy, the hell are you I just doing? Don't uh, I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, this is awkward. Let me just touch your chest. Thank you, back. That looks very uncomfortable. Could you not lay him in the bath the other way around? Ah! Ah, turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! Ah! So be it. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. 
They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Are you goddamn mission? That's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I'd place it down gently. Leave? I don't want to leave. But I don't want to tease them either. Ah. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. And some water? I'll go get them. <laughs> wait, I wanna exp bring Hankley close. Okay, wait, I wanna anything I can look at. <clears throat> oh, we actually got basketball on TV this time, not the hockey. Oh, there's laptop. I can't do anything here. God, what a mess. You're like bloody Todd. Except not as bad. Uh, where's all your clothes? Just right here. Oh, open. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Pajamas? Ooh. Street. Oh no. Stripey, streaky, or hippie? Let's go with stripey. <coughs> Better out than in. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> He's drunk yeah. as a skunk. What do you yeah. think, Connor? <sighs> Wonderful. Just, uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Learn more about Hank. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to the Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the... Autumn Blues, Michigan Brothers, Detroit Soul Mark. Records. But this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Hank loves jazz. Many experts and he also loves heavy metal from his iPod. War draws closer every day. A, a half-eaten cheeseburger. Oh, what was that? Nope. Girlfriend? Oh, he's got a son. Face scan. No. Oh, I didn't even read how he died. Can I? Oh. So that's why he's such a mess. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Was the collapse before I found out. Hence why you were lucky. Uh, the next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. I just... So I said um, before that I didn't actually see how... how his son died. Um, but he keeps going on about how he hates androids, so I don't know if an android, I'm not saying an android definitely killed his son on purpose, straight up murdered his son, but I think an android might have had a role 
and the accidental death of his son. Hence why he hates androids. Like I said, I... No idea. I didn't even read why he died. I was too shocked to see that he actually had a son who died. Left for Club Eden. Okay, we're back to Marcus at the docks. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Going, yo. Oh, okay, so they're not humans, they're androids as well. Follow north. Watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Cyber life. Oh, I barely made that jump. Follow Simon, follow him. No, I want to follow Simon. Where the hell are you going? Follow Simon. Even though it said follow Marcus, north. That way. Which way? Do you know the way? I don't know the way. Where am I going? Oh, this way. I would have got there first had I followed. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. Sabala! Holy shit, whoa! Oh, there's a drone right there. Cyber Life Warehouses. First we have to get rid of that drone. Yeah. I was looking at that. Leave it to me. Oh, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna play this, Marcus? Would be spotted. That was a pretty dumb thing to do anyway. Let's just run and jump at it. I'm wondering... Oh, here we go. And then from there up here... Too high. Okay, so we'll jump on top of this one. Oh, okay. Uh, and then... There... To there. And then just tackle it in midair. <laughs> okay. You okay? 
okay? Like yeah. a bow. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. You damn skippy. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. What are we taking? Blue blood? What am I doing? Oh, search crates. Take some of this, take some of this, some of that. Uh oh. Oh, hi! Hello! You were trespassing on private property. And stealing right in front of you. A level two infraction. I will notify security. Please don't. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Oh, what am I doing? Run away! Uh, no. I don't want to run away. Shut up. Shut John! up. Is that a human? I could tell. I need your help. John! Oh, the knife. Oh, I didn't even see the knife. North, hide the knife. Uh, attack, release, hold. I want to hold. Hopefully he doesn't see the knife. There's going to be a lot of options for this one at the end. North. The drone now this. Just my luck. <clears throat> I should have just attacked him. We're already. Let's rebels. finish up and get out of here. Uh, but probably Try best I didn't. Blood. We still don't have enough. Because if we attacked him, probably more people would have came in, and we wouldn't have been able to get some more right now. as much Ethereum as possible. Check the bigger crate, which is over inside here. Right here. Is there anything else I can do? And behind door number one, we've got androids. Was oh, it Connors? Why aren't you like us? Are they Connors? Don't you want to be free? Oh, if I free them, will they turn on us? You can join us. They look like Connor. Join us and be free. Did I do good? North? North, the blue went up, Jericho went up, Josh went up. That's all we can carry. Let's Simon go. Simon went up. I think we did good. Take me with you. Aren't they? Oh, that guy. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. Why are the three in the back just standing there? Oh, God. Oh. Why is it my decision? No, you stay here back. I'm sorry. You can't come with us. I helped you. It's not fair. I helped you and now you're just gonna leave without me? How you're no better us? than humans. How you're no they... better than humans. He triggered the alarm. Run! Oh god, how did he help us though? And why are the three staying back? Over the fence, oh, quick! God. You were committing a class three event. Couldn't I just said, okay, I'm sorry, I changed my mind. Someone's gonna get left behind right here. Simon or North. Okay, maybe not. We have blue blood and bio components. There will be enough for everyone. 
We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Yeah, I'm the hero of Jerka. I thought people were going to be shit at me because I told that guy you couldn't come. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence waiting for a change that's never going to come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not going to beg for the right to smile or love or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. <sighs> what they don't want to give, we take. Come on, Marcus. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Jericho's hero. Group return with full bags. Oh. Back to Jericho. Run the fence. Sound the alarm. I'm trying to find the one where the security guard wanted to go back. Here we go. John wants to join. Accept. Would have led to that. Would have led to that. And you would have bypassed the alarm. But you still would have had to run to the fence. And then if all this opens up. Hmm. Back to Jericho. And there's something here, and then there's also something up here. The more I find, the more I've been playing this, the more I'm wanting to do a second playthrough which is really oh, rare in a game feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside that's a lot skull. of the choice games where i get that feeling the more i play the, the more i want to do a second playthrough it's the address in the report right. okay let's get going you got this hank Jesus. oh god not off to a good start I just whacked his head on the bloody car The Eden Club, which we have seen numerous times on uh, some magazines. I uh, follow Hank. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> Come on, man. Even us androids have needs. Hank must be like, what the absolute fuck is this? He hates androids. <laughs> They're just like fucking stripper androids. Connor! The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> hey! <clears throat> At least this club doesn't discriminate. It's like fucking male and female. Happy hour. Hello, oh, Hank. Hound Hank, I'm a little busy. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Record session. Occupied. Occupado! Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing? Ah, oh, I am not a We've pet. We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm wasting time. Is some pervert who, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. 
Good night, Lieutenant. See, that guy has respect for his elders and his superiors. I don't want to be in here. I want to leave. Okay, I can't. Okay, examine victim, examine android. Okay, so you're obviously the android. I'll come back to you. First, I want to examine the human. Examine the human. What happened to you, buddy? What's your name? Michael Graham. Estimated time of death, 6.24 p.m. Obviously, he's deceased. <clears throat> Severe bruising, signs of strangulation, and it's like a handprint over his neck. Cardiac arrest, no sign of cardiac event, heart attack not causing death. Alright, let's see what you got up to. Okay, you're gyrating while you're laying down. Alright, right there. Victim was strangled. Oh, okay, that's why he's trying to find stuff. Alright. He didn't die of a heart attack. Okay. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That oh, her me. LED light is. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. Hey, this is how I work. Again. I lick the blood and I get the freaking info on it. Blue blood serial number. Reactivation required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Don't strangle me. Oh shit, time before shut down. Be direct. I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he... Is he dead? Oh, he did. Murderer facts. Tell me what happened. He started... Hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? Ah, uh, you ran out of time. So there was another android. Also... This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Also, no, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk right. very much, you know. Right. They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. About once. We lost a model two, three months back. But the same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Probably don't have any CCTV.
<laughs> I was gonna say also Connor's model is an RK800 I guess it's an RK800 Uh, God, can you stop talking? Another android? Yeah. Well, that's what Connor says. Yeah, I have a terrible fucking headache. Do you have any painkillers? Oh, with me, Hank. Sorry. What good are you, Ben? Yeah, what good are you, Ben? I gotta go. I feel like shit. Oh, God, I didn't even... I don't even... puke in this fine establishment. Well, wait outside. Uh, I want to continue. I didn't Deviant didn't anything. just disappear. It's got to be here somewhere. Just give me one more minute, okay? All right. Be quick about it, or it might get ugly. Okay. I was gonna say, finally, Connor's Android model is RK800, and when I was with Marcus and we unlocked that big case and saw the three androids who I thought looked like Connor, they're. Uh, their model was an RK700. So I don't know if... I don't know if they were an RK700 because they look a little like Connor. So it's like the next number down because it's like a similar model. No fingerprint detected. Please try again. Oh, you need a human. Oh, so that's how they unlock it. Hank! Hank! I need your hand. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. I just need your hand, buddy. Because <clears throat> you are my buddy, guy. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. I need Please, you. Lieutenant. Just trust me. It's part of the case. <laughs> Hello. A 30 minute session costs twenty nine ninety nine. Please confirm your purchase. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Even club wishes you a pleasant experience. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Let me probe you. Holy oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? Uh, okay, so we're looking through her eyes earlier on. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the victim looked like. Is this the victim? I can't even remember. Okay, so that is that must be the other girl. The other female android. A blue-haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. It saw something. What are you talking about? It saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Oh, God. Okay, so the entrance is that way. So do we need... Hey, okay. what am I supposed to do with this one? Let's try this one. This better be important. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. This one saw nothing. You're useless! What about this android? It's right, looking right at the entrance. Hank! Oh god. Hey, isn't that Zlatko? Oh god, I'm running out of time. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Shut up! <clears throat> Please tell me you saw something. Yes! 
it turned back into the club. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go the for it. We'll never have time to check them all. There are Lieutenant, androids in everywhere. Do you have a better idea? How are you going to tell which one saw the... The Tracy with blue hair. I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. You're useless. Come on, come on, come on, come on, no. come on. I lost its track again. I don't. Did I go on this way? It's the same room. Canada? Oh, right in. God. I'm getting lost in this freaking place. Turned to the red room. Okay. <clears throat> Into the red room we go. Oh, a cop. Okay, that's just. That's creepy. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> Shut up, Hank. Fuck! I'm trying not to go so fast in case I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> this is going to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Useless. No, I lost its track again. Oh, there we go. It turned to the blue room. Okay. We have twenty five seconds. Come on, man, run! Stop looking down. Oh, there we go. It hid in a room. Okay, this should be the last one. If it's hiding. Oh, wait, it was this one, wasn't it? It left the room. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, come on! I'm out of time. It's too late. The android's memory had been reset. If one of them saw the Tracy, we'll never know. It's my fault. I should have been faster. <sighs> For a second there, I thought you were going to make yourself useful. Let's get out of here. No, I just... This place gives me the creeps. Oh, come on, man. Mission failed. Oh, my God, look at this other shit. I like how 3D these lines are. So you can see the line goes down. Fuck and how? He spent most of the time fucking walking. He wasn't even walking, he's just dawdling. Fuck, it's like pick up the pace, man. You're on a timer and you're just tiptoeing through the frickin' strip club.
as soon as it went, it hit in this room, I was like, oh yeah, sweet, you can't go anywhere else. And I was like, nah, it left the room. Alright. I'm not happy about that. Are we in Canada? Look at all the snow. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, we will return to this uh, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I will be back again tonight, uh, like I said the other day, uh, in the little update I posted that uh, there will be a GTA stream tonight, GTA Online, with some of the some of the boys. Um, but yeah, I'll return to this tomorrow, another stream of this tomorrow, probably another two hour stream of this. I'm trying to keep them in that two hour range. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. I uh, just want to... The Pirate's Cove. 2% completed, and I haven't done anything. <clears throat> okay, cool. So I'm going to leave this here. And like I said, GTA stream tonight, and I will be back. So thank you all for joining, and have the best day ever. Goodbye.